G'day lawnies, welcome to Lawn Porn. Today's video is about the Alex Sterling 51. Let's get your lawn on. Okay, before we get into today's video, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Now Skillshare is a great platform for creatives such as myself to help them create better. Now you may have noticed in the last six months my stuff has really improved and that's because I've got a lot of tips out of using Skillshare and going to courses. So you might have noticed recently my quick little 10 second intro which is quite dynamic and flashy and I've got a lot of good comments about it. Well, I went to Skillshare and did an Adobe After Effects course. After watching a couple of lessons, I pretty much got what I needed and I did that really quickly. There's links in the description below for you to join Skillshare and become a member and it's a great community with lots of videos. Learning guitar, learning piano, there's lots of different things. Graphic design, lots of stuff. Definitely check out Skillshare. It's really great for becoming a YouTuber and becoming a creative and sharing your message. Click the link in the description, use the code Lawn Porn Lawn Care Tips and be one of the first thousand to do so and you'll get one free month access to Skillshare. Okay, in this video, we're gonna go right through the Alex Sterling 51. This is the only Alex Sterling 51 in Australia. In uh, theory, it's actually not an Alex Sterling 51. This is actually a prototype. This has had thousands of hours of use already. The production models that are coming out and they'll be in Australia in a few months, they're gonna be pretty similar to this as much as I, I, I know. In this video, we're gonna be doing mows with, with my cooch, a buffalo mow, and we're doing a kaikuyu mow. We're going to use the de-thatcher and the scarifier and the verticutter and see how it performs. Everybody knows the Allot Liberty and Allot Kensington and they're an old design from another company which Allot bought. It's also a cartridge interchangeable system. Well this is a totally Allot produced product using the experience that they have had having those mowers and the service issues and also taking customer feedback. And this is a, a, an absolute result of that customer feedback. We're gonna go through the features front to back. A lot of this is because of the customer feedback. The grass box, very, very interesting. It's a mesh. It's got a stainless steel like skeleton in it. It's a little bit lighter than the old Kensington one. The idea is that the grass and the force of the grass with the wind will go into the grass box and the airflow goes through the grass box so you don't get that deflection of the grass hitting the grass box and then fluffing up. There's no real lip on the side so when you go to empty your clippings you're not going to get anything stuck in there. Very very nice. Okay we've got a solid roller at the front here with a guard here which scrapes anything that gets onto that roller. There is also a groove roller that's coming out I believe as an option. Now because this is an electric mower I can just tip it upside down and not worry about the fuel. Under here there is a uh, rake here that you can set up. It's adjustable and movable so that can rake into the grass and pop it up ready for the cut. In here I've got a 10 blade cartridge. 10 blade cartridge is what you would use for 15 millimeter mows and lower. There's also a six blade cartridge for higher than 15 millimeters and up. And this goes all the way up to 50 millimeters. This is an interchangeable cartridge system and it's really, really easy. So I've got two little things here, which I lift up, I release the handle and out it comes. These cartridges now come with a uh, metal or steel uh, cog rather than the plastic one and the reason for that it's a different system here it's a belt drive system which attaches to the cog rather than another cog so hence the change. The cool thing about the cartridge system as well is that Allet hasn't abandoned customers already invested into the system. If you've got an old Liberty or Kensington cartridge you can just get this little bit here and swap it over and then you'll be able to use your Liberty, <laughs> Liberty or Kensington cartridges in the sterling. Cool. Quick as that, it's pretty good. 
very accurate and fantastic changing your height of cut on this machine. Very, very precise. So you spin this around, cutting from 0 to 50 millimetres. But you'll also notice on the other side, there's 0 to 15 millimetres going down. And this is for your cultivations, like your scarify, your verticut, and your dethatcher. Okay, the whole package weighs in at about 55 kilograms. And it's a really solid frame. Come check this out. It's just thick and solid. Very, very, very nice. Everything's really, really solid. It's just great stuff. I mean, look at this handle as well, you know. Very, very well made. The Allet Sterling 51 takes the Ego battery system and that's fantastic because you can swap between your Ego tools, use the same battery and use this mower. So let's check this out. This is a 10 amp hour battery that I've got in here. This is the battery. You can take it in and out using this little flick here. And then out comes the battery. It's got the slide rails. It goes in only one way. Push it in and it's ready to go. This one's got some indicators on it, giving me three out of five battery power. Okay, I really love the handle setup on this mower. It's borrowed from the Ego Select Cut mower, which I did a review on. If you want to see that video, there's a link up here to take you to that video. But as you remember from that video, if you did watch it, I was a real big fan of it. It's really, really comfortable. It's got a nice feel. It sits in the hand really, really well. This controls how quick your drive is. These, both of these green things are for the drive, so you can do it one-handed or the other-handed or both if you desire. And if you want to go faster, you can go up this way. You can really take off if you want to. I'm a bit of a slow walker, so I kind of like about two or three. So one, two, three. That's about my pace. This is your cylinder control. Number one, press the button down. And number two, pull the handle. And that'll start the drive. And when you let that go, the drive will stop. So that's a fantastic safety feature. So I suppose one of the uh, customer criticisms about the Liberty and the Kensington was that the handle wasn't quite high enough for really tall people. Once again, Allet have listened to their customers. We've got height adjustment, really high if you're a really tall person, and I don't even use that. The middle one is about where I'm at, and lower one for lower people. And I think that's a really, really good range. When you finish mowing, you can do this and put it away. Exactly the same as the Ego Select Cut. And once it's there, it can't be operated or used. And of course, you've got the Ego Key here, which takes it out and puts it in safe mode, can't be used. Split differential roller. So when you're turning corners and whatnot, she isn't going to scuff your grass. Fantastic. You can really appreciate the engineering and the passion that has gone into this product and making it very usable for the end user. So let's hop right into it. We'll be mowing three different grass types, try some cultivations, an audio comparison with the Kensington, and hopefully this gives you a real clear picture of what owning an Allet 51 will be like for you. Right, that's great. Cheers. All right, you have a good day. You too. up now it's really neat and certainly appreciated this is a prototype model so I had to do some assembly I don't know if your experience will be exactly the same as mine For those in the US that have already received theirs maybe you want to make a comment let us know how it was packed in the comment section below those waiting for their delivery of their Allet Sterling would certainly appreciate it
first mail was fantastic. I was really impressed. What I really noticed here was how well connected the mower is to the surface. It wasn't floaty at all, and it certainly gave those stripes a fantastic result. Okay, good afternoon, Dad. How are you doing? I'm, I'm good. Tell me what you want to do in today's video. Okay, the first mower of this lawn in three weeks. I'm going to try the other out. See how we go. Yeah, let's go. The blades were really contacting with the bottom blade, hence the noise. This was adjusted later. That's so good. Yeah, so good, isn't it? Well, that's my first line. I was a bit too heavy here. I've cut in. It was a bit too short. But I'm at 15 mil now. Yeah, no. And look. So what are the things of the features on this mower? Oh, look. I like it that it's battery. I like the handles. I yep. like it so far. Yeah. I just got to get used to it. It was going a bit fast and I had it a bit low. So. So bearing in mind this is a warm season grass and it's a week and a bit to go to winter, I was quite happy with this mow. I don't really fuss over this tiff tough much and it just does really, really well. Beautiful, isn't Let's that? see how we heal it. Ooh, it feels so nice. The it lawn. does, doesn't it? Yeah. Thank you so much, Heidi. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and get your lawn on, mate. Get your lawn on. I was really keen to see how others would go with the mower and Craig from Redman Lawn Care was a willing victim. After some instruction and a few runs of just using the drive, he was away. easily and this 11 millimetre mow that he's doing of my lawn came up fantastically. Check him out on Instagram at Radman Lawn Care. <laughs> Massive thanks to Craig for helping me film. Now I recommend that the blades don't contact, they're just definitely contacting here, hence a little bit of noise. After this mow I did a slight adjustment, the cut quality remained and I was very happy to not have the sound. So maybe Alec, recommendation is right after all. If you like having the slight contact with your blades, the sound will lessen. For the short time that I had and the few mows that I did, I noticed that the sound lessened quite considerably. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a sound test. Both mowers are set just above the height of the cut of the grass and that reasoning because of that is I'm starting to bruise up my grass now. I've mowed it about five times this week so it's not actually cutting the grass but just above it and just to get a sound test. So I've got a GoPro which is going to stay stationary and we'll try to do it when there's cars not going past but we'll see the sound levels going up and back while I'm going up and back I'll just count to 10 and uh, so you get an idea of the the sound of it
We've been given permission to come here. Now this is Buffalo. I'm doing it at about 23 mil thereabouts. All right. Ready? All right, ready? Go. Lovely cut. Look at those clippings. Really nice and fine and note that it's wet. This is gonna be really, really good. Heidi. Thank you. And I can see some faint lines there. Yeah. yeah. I can see that. Yep. A couple more mows with that, and that do really well. So the Allet Sterling 51 on Sir Walter Buffalo. And I, it's I amazing. Think, and it's good. The next adventure was Kike here, and my mate Rhino, who's Kike, it is. He's never used a cylinder mower before, so. He took to it no problems whatsoever, so it was quite easy to use. Now, Rhino Kaikuya is in the greatest condition and the surface is a bit lumpy, but we certainly gave it a total workout. If you have to stand there, you'll be able to see the lines. Yeah. The off. first real lines. Yeah. <laughs> Starting to come up now. Yeah, yeah. See you in spring. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I've got some different cultivation cartridges. Let's see what they can do. Look, it is um, two weeks to winter. I have warm season grass here. This is Tiff Tough. You're not going to be doing deep cultivations at this time of year. For the purpose of the video, I've got a few cartridges here to show you. The first one I'm going to do is a low mo of five mil. Had it on the fast setting. Wow, that stripped it. Wasn't a problem. Let's look at the catcher. That's how much in that, just that little bit. Look at that, just slaughtered it. Cricket pitch. <laughs> Might be a bit of jiggling. Okay, with the Scarifier at Nort Mill. See, it hasn't really affected the grass much. Look, she's brought up mostly brown stuff that thatch underneath. So that is a cartridge that you would use after a renovation right through to mid-autumn just to give the grass a bit of a tease up, pull out some of that thatch and just get more air, nutrients and water into the canopy easily. Rail it back here, which goes into these. Bring that in there properly. Five mils into the ground is what I'm going to go. <laughs> this is like butter. So once again, just another getting in there. Might go deeper. Just when it needs a verticut and you want to get rid of your lateral runners, just open up your canopy a bit. Look at that. That's touching nicely into the ground. Look at that. Now you got it going. Yeah. Let's take it right down. That wasn't pretty. Deep that never is, just that little bit. I've pulled up so much already. 
no problems there. That's a flatter bit. And then you would clean it all up with a mow, suck it all up. I'm pretty impressed with that. So five millimeter mow, the scarifier, the verticutter, and the deep thatcher. That's the result. Getting a great lawn with a cylinder mower cut is one of the most enjoyable and satisfying things that you can do. But you have to realise that having a great lawn like this is more than just cylinder mowing. You really need those extra cultivations to manage your thatch to get that consistent look. So what do I think? I think this is an amazing mower. The cartridges worked really well. There's lots of power here. I love that it's on the Ego battery system. You can just swap and change with your tools. Lawn contractors are gonna absolutely love this thing. This is such a solid mower. I'm, I'm really impressed about it. The one thing I, I, I really just noticed about it straight away, even though it's only 55 kilos, is that this mower seems really extremely planted with the ground and just the sense of the electric drive system just being constant, just get a really consistent connected cut with the lawn and it's just fantastic, especially with the 10 blade. My lawn has looked fabulous with this. Kenny's Buffalo, that did quite well. My mate Rhino's uh, Kaikuya, not so much because his Kaikuya was a little bit all over the place and his surface was a bit rough, but you can just see that this is fantastic for well manicured lawns, well maintained lawns. It's a no brainer. The thing about this mower is, is that it's leagues ahead of everything that's on the home domestic market for an interchangeable cartridge system. It's so much faster than the Swordman. I'm also faithful to the people that invested in the older style being the Liberty and the Kensington. Fantastic that Allet haven't ignored their customers. Fantastic that Allet are listening to their customer feedback and fantastic mower all round. This is a mower that sits in between like your basic level domestic cylinder mower and obviously your commercial mowers which are a little bit more heavy duty but the features on here for the keen domestic lawny who just wants a fantastic result she's spot on okay this is a fantastic product Alan. thank you very much for letting me have it this weekend to play with it and yeah i wish i had more time with it but certainly a fantastic mower. If you're after one of these mowers, go to adeturf.com.au. They're the distributors of Allet in Australia. Thanks ADE, thanks Allet. Get your lawn on. Hey, my name's Matthew Dorm. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. Do all the cool stuff like smashing the like button and subscribing to the channel. It really helps me grow. Hope you have a great day and get your lawn on.